Falcons. I am CC Smith, here with the Furnace Falcon Weekly News. Today is Friday, November 19th, 2021. Congratulations, students. We have finished our first quarter of the school year. We hope everyone did well. Are you ready for report card conferences that are coming up next week? This will be our last news report until after Thanksgiving break. Our news team represents many languages. You can watch them in advisory or on the YouTube channel Falcon TV. Our quote of the week is, The thankful heart opens our eyes to a multitude of blessings that continually surround us by James E. Faust. Have you and your friends been wearing your mask properly? Remember that masks can always protect you from COVID-19. Masks keep you, your family, and your friends safe. Mask up for your health. Miss Griffin and Miss Ellis will be selling fresh hot pretzels next Wednesday when you arrive in the morning. Bring an extra dollar for a pretzel on that day. For bilingual students, bilingual group meetings are finally here. Join your bilingual group meeting so you can talk with your first language speakers every week. Students share their stories with each other. We also talked about our own tradition. If you think that's fun, feel free to join our bilingual meeting every week to relax yourself. Ask Ms. Lorch in room 215A or email her at tlorch at gmail.com if you have any questions. Spanish speakers. Furnace is having a community meeting for all families who speak Spanish. It will be on November 23rd from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. It will have a fun meet meeting with food and prizes. OST has organized sports on Tuesdays. It is a space for you to play the sports you love, both competitively or just for fun. If that sounds fun to you, remember to see Miss Christina in room three. If, if you enjoy running, join Furnish Running Club. See Miss Chan in room 309 for more information. Senior announcements. Seniors, this is a message from Miss Kelsey Smith in the College Access Program. The program allows you to visit universities, earn scholarships, and learn about options after high school. Miss Kelsey can be found up the stairs across from room 212 every Monday and Tuesday. And seniors, there's more from Miss Carmen Rohde. Kutztown University is inviting students to visit their campus for their open house on Saturday, November 20th. We are providing a bus that will depart from Girls High near the only transportation center. High school seniors from Philadelphia can sign up for free, along with a guardian in the class of 2022 Google Classroom. All Furnace Community. Student government is collecting non-perishable canned goods for people in need this Thanksgiving up until Tuesday, November 23rd. All proceeds will be donated to fill abundance. The advisory with the most canned goods will receive a prize. Help some people in need this Thanksgiving. 
This week, we are interviewing our Chinese teacher, Miss Lee. Good afternoon, I'm Hui Yan. I'm Shunan. We are members of Falcon TV News. Today, we are here to talk with Miss Lee, our Chinese language teacher here at Furnace. Hi, Miss Lee. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi, Miss Lee. Uh, would you like to know about your teaching experience? So we are here to get to know you more by interviewing you and asking you some questions. Sure, sure. Uh, so how many years have you worked at Furnace? Uh, I have been here for 12 years. This is my 13 years at Furnace. Wow. Yeah, very long. Yeah. Uh, what's the most difficult part when you are teaching the students? Uh, I think the difficult part is uh, when you have a student, they have a different level of study skill. Uh, some students take a very long time to learn a few words, but some are very fast. So how do you balance these two groups, but they are in the same classroom? Yes. In your past experiments of teaching Chinese, uh, when is the time when students um, impress you? Um, I still remember there's one student about uh, seven or eight years ago. I remember his name. His name is Xie Qiu. Um, he learned really well. And by the end of Chinese 2, he stand in, uh, in a group of Chinese students and talking with them. I was really uh, surprised and uh, I feel really, really good when I see that. Hope next time I can see him. Okay. <laughs> okay. How has your teaching changed or evolved over the years? Um, yeah, uh, one thing I noticed is when I first came here, most students who are coming to Chinese class are Native American. They, they are American. Uh, so um, recently, there's a lot of ESO students come to learn Chinese. Um, so they have to learn English and the Chinese at the same time. Uh, but um, the good thing is they are doing very good. They learn Chinese really well. Mm -hmm. um, I saw there are many decorations in your room. Yes. Can you tell us about the meaning of them? Like those dresses hanging on the doors. Uh -huh. um, so the dress I have here are typical Chinese dress for ladies. Uh, they are called the Qi Pao. Um, it's, it's from the last dynasty of Chan, Chinese history. Uh, they start that time, it's about 400 years ago, and it lasts until 70 years ago. So right now, not many people wear them, but uh, occasionally during Chinese holiday, people wear them. Oh, they're very beautiful. Thank you. Um, how about those animals? Um, so those animals, we call them Chinese zodiac animal. Um, that's the way Chinese um, number the years, name the years. Like in Western culture, you use numbers. Uh, in Chinese culture, you use animal. So this year is the year of ox. Yeah. Um, how about the words above the blackboard? What's that? Um, so the, the character I put there, they are Chinese dynasty. Uh, the Chinese dynasty started 5,000 years ago. So you can see the first dynasty, Xia dynasty, started 5,000 years ago. So the last dynasty is the Qi dynasty, end at around 100 years ago. Okay, so 5,000 years, Chinese always have different kind of dynasty until the last dynasty. Then we became a republic. Wow, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, can you give uh, some advice for students that are currently learning Chinese? Uh, yeah, I, the, the only advice I, can, I want to give is for the, for the students who are learning Chinese. Um, they should practice with a Chinese speaker if they have a chance. And we actually have a good student, diverse student body here. There's a lot of Chinese students. Um, so if the students who are learning Chinese can speak with Chinese students, 
um, regularly, it would improve their language skill a lot. Okay, got you. Yeah. Mm, can you teach us one Chinese word? Uh, sure. In Chinese one, right now we are learning uh, love. love. Uh, in Chinese, love is I. I. So that's how you say love. Uh, so you can say I ni ni means you. So I ni means love you. Okay, love I you. Ni. <laughs> love you too. I ni too. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Miss Lee, for taking your time with us. Learning about the culture of China is fun. Students, are you interested in coding and engineering? Then come join Falcon Robotics with Dr. Pasenak every Wednesday after school. Students, do you need help with homework? Homework Zone is from Monday to Thursday, 2.40 p.m. to 3.40 p.m. Get all the help you need. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and check for valuable information on our website, furnace.philasd.org. Our websites also provide a weekly announcement on YouTube in many different languages. That's all for this week's announcements. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to recharge your body, mind, and Chromebooks before coming to school.